hello hello good people how are you please share this broadcast share in your groups share everywhere you can possible that is a different person with his own show as well so i suggest you uh, try and inbox the admin and then the admin will be able to give you more information i'm sorry that i can't help you on that one i'm just here to do my show as well so you might need to contact his mail but anyway please keep sharing this <laughs> So we have things that we need to put in order. We have things that we need to discuss. So, you know, I'm going to go to Pano. So, you know, I'm going to go to Pano. Lorraine, Maslela, you are welcome, guys. You're welcome. Welcome, you're welcome. To those who don't know me, because you might have joined Sisimili's Diaries maybe recently and you have not come across me, Zitarang Gundonzi Gladys Mtongreya, Ndagaror Wakwa Mzua. I'm here in Australia, and you are so, Samanyika is here, Saka Mchanzi Washinta, Mchanzi Washimanyika. Just be ready for it. Kana musimu zisa zwa nige ita ora mnondu za nitana ngure zwa kari. I'll be mixing chirungu ne shona kutura watu munu wani here and there. Abate obuweza avasive seva nongu wa shona ka. Saka tichanga tichi saruza saruza. Tichi bataniza bataniza like that. And so basically I'm a relationship coach. I'm a relationship counselor. I do a lot with people who are getting ready to get married like premarital coaching. Um, I have a business called Another Chance Life Coaching Services and I'll put my details down there at the end of my show to those who want to know more about me. So I do, uh, like I said, relationships, finances, premarital coaching and counseling, marriage counseling. Your marriage is on rocks and you are stuck. Don't go through it by yourself. I can help you and some are on separation already and they are fighting nasty battles nasty fights yeah, the children are torn apart you don't know what to do you are stuck you can come and i can help you and uh i also am an author i wrote a book called another chance trusting god in the process do i have my book here with me unfortunately i don't have a copy of my book here in the, uh, no 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 i found it just for those who might be interested to know more about me, this is my book, Another Chance Trusting God in the Process. And the reason why I actually ended up writing this book, it's basically about relationships and how things can easily go south. If you are not using wisdom and the spirit of discernment and you're just doing things anyhow, I was in a big mess before, let me tell you this, I was in a big mess before, I could have killed someone, I could be in jail, I could have killed myself because of what I went through, but God gave me another chance. He is a God of more than two chances, he gave me another chance. And I'm going to share my experiences as I go along. I'm basically born and bred in Zimbabwe in a very poor uh, background, but you know, you hear what myth is saying here. God is here to correct some serious errors that have happened. God is going to lift you up in terms of um, 
what challenges you're going through. There are so many people who are realizing that they didn't know their husbands, they didn't know their partners well before. And because of this COVID-19, you are spending more time together, not by choice, but because of the situation. And you are really now realizing, mm, what is going on here? This is not the person that I thought I was going out with. This is not the person that I thought I was married to. And you are now struggling and you don't know what is it that is happening. What is the problem here? You have those issues. You can come to me. I'll help you. So many people have come through. I can tell you this. And they are now smiling. Situations that you thought, nah, this one is never going to happen. It's now happening and people are enjoying their marriages. And let me be very open and honest with you. And you say, I told you I have a business, right? But when I'm helping you here, Pasisimelis Diaries, I do it for free. So when I finish my show or when I finish, it's not even a show. This is a real life issue. <laughs> when I finish it, I'll put a number down there and let people call in and I'll try and help a few people for free. Okay? For free. Because there are some people who will tell you, I don't have money. When you come to my company, we are doing business. But I give general advice here understand that and i have a brand to protect i have an integrity to protect so when you come to me i'm now addressing is that better patience is that better patience is saying the music is a bit loud i've reduced it yeah so i wanted to say obviously i have to charge you because that's my business but here it's free Okay, let's get that clear. So don't come to my inbox trying to say just a quick question, just a quick question. No, it won't be a quick question. It will be personal, personalized, trying to dig down deep to the problem and we fix it. Yeah. And I'm telling you, when you do come, uh, I promise you, you will not regret it. So today we are going to talk about your gut feeling, your gut feeling. Kamwe ka noti so, kamwe ka kusungi kana so, ka unonzwa. Mudumbu mako soke kuti you cannot explain it. Then you gut feeling yo yo. You you feel sick in your stomach. Unons wada ku rutsa, kutangoda uta diarrhea, kutange uruda uta pass out, kutangoda ku fender. Every time you start to think about the situation, it will consider like that. So gut feeling basically if feeling yo yo ya unons wa down inside your gut and it's not coming from the external forces. So the reason why I'm doing this. Research has showed that my cells are in gut. My are are similar to the cells that are found in your brain. So that's why sometimes when you have this gut feeling, it's associated with what is going to end up being brewed in your mind or in your brain, not the physical brain, but the mind. You know, and when that happens, you are certain, you are sure that it's not just happening for nothing a gut feeling i'm going to take it for nothing right so i want you to understand it's like an intuition it's like a, a red alarm it's like a red flag that is telling you to something is seriously wrong here and this thing needs to be addressed the difference between a gut feeling because someone might ask me does you say you could eat gut feeling can i does you say you could eat intuition how do i differentiate the difference between a gut feeling and intuition or uh, my insecurities are maybe you were in an abusive relationship before or you grew up in a family where your mom was abused in front of you or your parents were fighting in front of you or maybe you were really like abused in your previous relationship and now you can't separate with gut feeling in the hippie instinct in the hippie and what is my insecurity? So insecurity, it comes or it stems from Zinu, Zagaitika before. When you begin to reflect back and you see Zagambaitika Kumashure or you think about the abuse that was happening in your previous marriage, it can be verbal abuse, it can be psychological abuse, it can be sexual abuse, it can be psychological, mental abuse, intellectual abuse, financial abuse. All those kinds of abuses. So, because a lot of people think the abuse is just physical abuse, domestic violence. No, no, no. no. There is a lot of things that can happen in relationships. But can I say that insecurity, gut feeling, instinct? That's how you can differentiate. When you have a gut feeling, with a gut feeling, you actually it's coming from within. 
you are not going to be judging yourself. You are in the present time. You are working with the situation at hand. You have that nasty, unexplainable feeling happening inside of you. Zichu is when a situation is at hand. It's different from when you are now paranoid or suspicious because of what happened before. So I wanted to, to you know, to get that clear. Pounding or Shida would go through those kind of challenges that would go through. Is it a familiar experience that is coming back into you? Or is it a previous external experience? Or let me give you an example. Um, let's say you are just sitting there and maybe your partner, your husband or your boyfriend or your fiancé is doing something that you cannot explain or he's speaking in something that is not very clear and then... He, immediately because you are not understanding what is going on or what is explaining you begin to associate it with what your ex-husband your ex-boyfriend ex-partner did to you that way and then you end up you ended up discovering but when it is your gut feeling apana fungwa zinobva outside zino try to remind of what happened in the past in let's say your boyfriend or your husband or your partner Every time I know phone, I know my toilet, or I know, I know, I know what I know, what I know, what I know, eventually, I know the phone, I know the garden, or I know the phone, I know the or I know the toilet, or kitchen, instead of where you are, or uh, the voice is low, or every time phone, I know the phone, I know the phone, I the chambo, I'll call you back, or I'll call you back every time. You, that's not a reminder of what is happening before. It is actually what is happening now. Okay? And the mistake that we make a lot of times is people end up ignoring whatever is happening right now because they have been used, they gotten used to being abused. Kujairira ku abuse wa. O kujairira kuona ku abuse ya itika. Whether this is how I abuse wa. Nemurume o ndiwe wa ka abuse wa. Ne previous relationship or your parents. Now waku, you suppress that gut feeling. Ukada kuti maybe sometimes unoda kusika um, nikatichi. Kudaku uzwane ungu munu kuti, you know, is this right or is this wrong? Because that person is not experiencing it first hand, they might tell you you are overreacting, you are oversensitive, you are just paranoid, or you are scared because of what you went through in the previous relationship. Sometimes it's not necessary for you to be telling people everything that is happening behind the scenes. And if you are a child of God, I would say this. Ah, something told me. Something said this to me. Pani chakanditi, pani chandaka nzwa, but then ndakangoti regeza ndisiane nazo. That is your intuition. If you are a child of God, that is actually the Holy Spirit talking to you. Mwea mtuwe ne anenga chitota orane wepo paya kuti pani chisina umira mwishi. Get this clarified, get this sorted out. But because... Ausi, usu, kana usi nga na mati zwako, or you are not deep into those things. Unangu fungu wati, pane chakandiri, chakandiri cha wakutu wa reche, wa mwea mtsene, urkuto kuza wati, zina zina mira mwishipana. Find out more about what is happening, what is at hand. Get things clarified. And, you know, gut feeling, it's there to protect you. It will try and help you to avoid getting into danger. Saka, it's like a, a, a red uh, like an orange sign before the red sign telling you to, you need to stop, you need to pause. And most of the time, sometimes what happens is you are in a relationship and you went into that relationship prematurely. You are coming from a, a very painful relationship or something that destroyed your confidence or your self-esteem. You run into another relationship and you are going into that relationship with not right motives. You are going there with the wrong motives. You are going there because you just want someone to soothe your immediate feelings. You are not thinking about the future. And you are not thinking about what it's going to cause your surroundings and your self-esteem later in life. So when you do that, you are not sound and stable in your mind. Whatever relationship you are coming from, make sure you heal first before you move forward. Tanga wapora from the relationship ya uru vamairi. There is no time frame to say you got to be for a year before you get into another relationship. If you feel for sure that you are healed within a month, it's up to you. If you feel you are healed within two weeks, within six months, within a year, up to you. You know yourself better. So no one is going to tell you, okay, you have to wait for this long. 
But you need to know beyond any shadow of doubt that you have healed from your previous relationship. You are not carrying the baggage from the previous relationship because then when that happens, there will be a lot of comparison. Then you will mix up insecurities with the gut feeling and then you don't understand when to run, when to flee or when to look for help or when to communicate with your uh, partner or fiancé. What I just want you to say is to, to understand is you need to get to a point in your relationship where you are not scared of the person that you are in a relationship with. Any relationship that when you think of addressing issues, you begin to panic, you begin to be scared, you begin to be unsettled in your spirit. I want to tell you that is not a good relationship for you. If it is a marriage that is going like that, then we have to find ways to fix it. But if it is just a relationship, you are not yet married. Those are the times to get serious help serious talks serious chats about that relationship before you advance forward and i always want to tell people anything that you avoid to confront right now will con or confront you in the future just you need to avoid the confront right now in your relationship it's gonna affect you in the future a lot of people you hear them say oh you know uh, at least i have a boyfriend in life there is no at least don't settle for less or little Settle for that which you deserve. And this world, unfortunately, doesn't give you what you deserve. You fight for what you deserve. You might leave a relationship because you are lazy to fight for your relationship. When I mean fight, I'm not saying argue and do things. No. Do the right thing that you need to do, like communicating effectively. Sit down and, you know, give your partner or your fiancé time to establish that gut feeling. When it is time, you know, no, enough is enough. There's something really seriously going on. There's a difference between being paranoid. Some people are paranoid, and paranoia comes from, uh, you know, insecurity. Then when people are paranoid and they, they have insecurities, they begin to sneak behind their partners. They begin to, uh, you know, steal their partner's phones and try and, uh, you know, track them and all those funny things. Don't do that. If you are in a relationship with a person who can give you your his phone and let you just play whatever you want with it, with him in the presence of, you know, everything around you, and then you try and sneak behind his back and do those fun. When he finds out there is going to be chaos, there is going to be trouble, there is going to be problems, do it openly if that's what you have agreed. In a relationship, don't wait for things to come along later on. Then they will try and and no more one I got a rochet and no more I got a rochet and chasm na matir and you are not being married to that person as their prayer warrior. You are not their worshiper. You are not their uh, usher. You are not their evangelist or apostle. You are getting married because of the physical demands of your body. Dinewa no kawanda wandaka kocha before and I corrected them. Because when I boyfriend Yang is a prophet, Saka, I, I don't need help from that person. Nganga, I use rapi wa komana. Nganga, I use rapi. Unodana na ni munu, waunengo chono ati anima red flags, waunengo chins wama gut feelings, waunengo chins wati jina zina wama mirama But you cannot ask that person, but I'm not really happy. I don't know what's happening here, but every time we go out and you go and answer your phone away from me, I feel unsettled in my spirit. I don't know what it is. Chimbo try to answer. Be a very strategic person. Be, be it you are a woman or a, a boy or a man or whatever. Use wisdom. Use spirit of discernment. Chagangua iri conducive for that kind of stuff. You can't say your, your girlfriend or your boyfriend is not happy at the moment or they are going through a tumultuous time. You won't don't why my gut feeling is telling me this and that. You are asking for trouble. Muno we are Find time is suitable for both of you to address these things. And when you do, God will give you grace. He will give you wisdom. Why is it every time you have a phone, 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 you 
it's okay. You don't have to go out. I'm I'm just telling you, be comfortable. Dara go for niya go room. That's fine. Uka ana wapa munu muswa gareba gudaro agaramba chi manya chete kuenda. And are you not established? Then that's when you need to be very careful. Okay, so my gut feeling was actually right. Now what do I do? Do I continue? It's your choice. Every decision you make, it has its own repercussions and consequences. And it also has its own blessings. It's not all bad. Some people, uh, but then when you talk about it and you talk to each other, you teach each other. Kuna wangu wanu wakakura, avana grooming, avana mamenas, avato ziku tindu no behavior, say, pamberipe mskana, kana pamberipe mkazo wangu, pamberipe shangwari. Things are just done anyhow. And some people are like that because they never got the teaching, the grooming. But if that person loves you enough, they should have a teachable spirit. Hiye kuti akwa nise kukutere razo wangu mchumta orira. Umu apana kana zine chitombo ito wa ipa papu. Kungo wa taura wa kia asripa uri. Chataura wa wea apana. Asitorina kana watipani msikana ari kunze uko kana mkomana. Kutongo shia mamenaz. Kutongo jari na zine sinabasa. But kana uka muu zamne zaka naka. Patina yako yoyo yoyo. You find you kutiva nukuda zwe shwa shwa nukuda kutiva. Sorry you know what. Kuto jahiri ra kondato ita. Yato onde mo but. And chitombo uri na kana watintine cha ndrofano wako uandisa. Oto tanga hake kudara foni yako uyake pari. Or talk about it as you know, we may say and then you realize, okay, then coaches are telling us that we should not Then you actually know that no, 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 this one is actually doing something behind the scenes. That's when you need to be very careful how to move forward, how to flee. Kuti zani upe nyu wako, kana kugara, ipapo, wazo ona wati zinu zango wa shi ginoa, izo zizi, ndozo haku distraya, marriage yako. Things that you are ignoring right now, ndozo zinu, zichazo kanga nisa upe nyu wako kupamberi yapu. Auro oru, ne munu, chinda razo mchinja, usi mwarige yo. Gadziri sai zinu, musa timato mbenda, a lot of mistakes is wanti nona zinu itu waneva na wema zoano izi. They try to do courtship. After that, oh, it's a ring, the engagement ring. Now you are trying to do courtship. Mato is a ring, kamato decide. Magita courtship is wakutora dhoti. You are already just doing it as a formality, as a duty. Ngo titizo, nzitaka ita courtship. Courtship is a preparatory period. Dating, kamu nenga mchiru ngo ita, no one is seriously committed to each other. You are still starting, you are still trying to be, to, to understand each other. Muruku zidzana mchita, so muruku ita. And I can tell you, you can date clean. Because ita wano wano date, as you date, so kuti. During the dating period, you know, within a short space of time, wano wato rara wese, wano wakuto ita, so kuti sinabasa, umu wato one numbu, wakuda uzenda kune munu, we are no good, zaoti shangwa, we are just dating. Saka kana muru kuta dating zenye zi musa ngota ura zwe churu ngu za musa nga nzuisisi. Zwe wa uti kana mjitu we are dating. What are we doing? Establish the reason of why you are doing what you are doing. Because every decision that you make has its own repercussions. It has its own advantages or disadvantages. Saka time iyo ingwa ya kuzizana. Musa ati mashika pa time. Ya kuti mufeke za engagement ring. Ya kuti muchi uza everyone else. That's what we are doing. I time ya kuzizana iyo yo. I time ya kuzona uti munu yu. Ndino kwa sanga na yu penyu weso yu. Because there are certain principles in life that cannot be broken. Zwaka fana nane kuti gut feeling yako yu kuzizata. Yako mana family ya ndiru kuyenda ika ika ima kui kui chao chao. Zese zwa mninge mshita ura wedha ni mskana wanchi kwa natu mkoma ana. Anu ngo tangati. Ndodo mbo nzo wati mamu wangu wano tichi. Ndodo mbo nzo wati dedi wangu wano tichi. Siso wangu wano tichi. If you do not address those things now. Kuti, okay, I appreciate your family helping us. I appreciate your family uh, being part of us. But we have to establish to what extent. We have to come with principles in place. Zeku zewa kuti, rubasiro ruro gumira papi. Mununga sango ofa ofa rubasiro ruro asina kukumbiru. Because nguwaya kukumbiru wa rubasiro iriko. Zizai kuta solve your own issues by your own self. Inka we shangwari mangwana mangwana. Ah, inina angu nduna mutangana tawara na John Dimbonzi wata notichi. Imi mime gamuri tu. Kana mazorora na. Munenge mchirora John Futi ere. Munenge mchirora ere chipo mere jiyo. Shikai pa time yeko address those gut feelings. Shikai pa time yeko address those insecurities. Address those things that are you know, bothering you, the things that are disturbing your relationship right now before you get Musitsa um. Musat Marorana, things have to be sorted out. As it perfect because you are two imperfect people who were raised by two di like two different families. Amufi Magata perfect. But relationship in Gaiwe irreworkable. Relationship in Gaiwe iri relationship yoguti munokwan saku garsana. Dunzwana kawanda stereki. Vachiti ah, you know. 
Eh, mkoma na wangu patai data or when we're going out or doing courtship. Anu, ainya so taurazo. Taurazo ya, bla bla bla. Now we are married. Ah, tauri. Anu, go suragati ndu. Kana ishita urani, ka ishita urani, shamwari. You cannot tell me the truth. Chia isha, nika kufunza chokwadi. You can't tell me kuti mkoma na ye, muska na ye, yoyo. Ainya so taurazo. Nuzi, 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 Reflect back before you start to cry for. Wenya so unawati, muna oere, nyaheza muna taurwa mchiseka. Pane oere, nyaheza muna taurwa mchita serious kuplana. Nuzi, 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 Pane time yema fannies, poita time yeku settler. There are some people who are not going to go to the and they are going to go to the house. plan. Unes on oti, time inoi, ya muru kudana na muna as honest. Muna ano nyepa. Kana oti ano ba. Kana uti ano ano tora marize wano as nga zoseri. Kana uti a respect wa bereki. O ano ngoku humiliate pamberipe wano. Ata urine owe zine 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 owe chire mere la zia. Muskana, muskana anu ngweta zinu. Anyhow, pafoni pano ngweta wane munu chero. Ango muka, nezi nyadzi, nezi nyadzi, nezi nyadzi, basa. Mafekero, ndo auno daere. Because umano umu na anu decision yake. Mafekero aruku itwa. Kana uro wa urukuda, that's fine. I'm not here to tell you how to dress. Kana zinu zozo wa urukuda, ndi zozo. Kwete kuroora mwano wa wanu, kana kuroora wane mwano wa wanu chiti. Kana aro, ndaro, randi chamuza, mafekero andi noda. That will not work. You are just starting a very serious fight there. That is not going to work. You got to establish what you want right now. What attracted you to that person? You feeling good? I need to know that one is murume zimonya. I need to know that one is monya for high. I want a tall guy who is muscular, or I want a short guy who is charm or who is charismatic. You might be feeling that way, but is the person you are doing that to or feeling that towards? Are we going to read the same about you? It takes two to tango. I won't go into direction one year my feelings. Is the other person feeling the same way? You will see by, you know, I always tell people, effective communication related relationships is paramount. Ndeo chini chaka nyanyisa kukosha. Ndeo pane senda ye relationship yese. But, zino dagu nzgisi sikwa. Zino dagu te zuone goti. Communication ya shamuru wita. We effectiveness wacho. Uno fanu waku vaku both side. You can never assume there is no room for assumption. Kuti, ah, maybe anga shifung, anga shitra kuti chakati. Kana ku defend a moon. Sometimes when you are in love, ga, and it, uh, you be surprised, but even some people surrounding you, they can have a gut feeling for you. Iwa rimuru da rimurima. Shang Maria go ino kuda cha or your sister. Vanu kwa sabu kuzawati, ah, you know what, glad this ka. And this kuti, ndikuda u disturb, kana ku destroy relationship yako. But mkoma na wako u yuko, yuko. When it comes to honesty, I think as honest, but don't quote me for it. Do your own investigation. Find a strategic way to go around it. Nothing to show forth for it. There is a timing point where you are now serious in your relationship. The day you find out, Uneta ngo sharo wa munu chibakira kana mbama chayo nukutu nengo watu zo shatiru wazu kusinga chato mbo iti. So you got to get to a point where kana mazo serious to that point. Put everything on the table. You are now going towards becoming one flesh. Zese zwa manga mchita kana wango chimbo nyepa nyepa wachiti ntuna mbo tanga nono tisho ya kamira se. Pani mango manyepo yekuti the person you are going out with. Excuse me. Aga zo find out ka mumbai momo muna itashimoto. Uyuna zi watu waka mporo ora kuma shuroku. Unewa na wako three from different three women. This woman who is now going to get married to you as a fourth marriage, they have the right to understand what you, why is it, it's not condemnation, it's not blaming, it's wanting to find the truth. Why is it unongo rambu wanevanu, this is, you know, I'm your fifth person in relationship with. Chicha kambu nya saitika kunewanu atatua. Uwamu zaati choko adisha waruta yarezo zizu, nga chwe choko adisha chishatisha zeta stick with later on. Excuse me. Ah, udi kuzoti mangwana. Wachinja, chinja, zwa uruguta uru. Don't ignore it. Fana waziwa kuti uruguta sanzu ne marara aru. Unozo sikwani sa here. Kana wana uta kuzikwani si. Zuna ni kusia izo zizu. Pana kuzo chema mangwana. Kana kuti unozo tadza kuchengeta wa nawa ya wa uzwa. Tinindi newa na wangu. Mangwana zwa shat. Now is the time for you to talk about this. Munungawe honest. Inini as it stands now. 
Unanya sada ron ini ndi nechi kure tichaga tichaga nda kati rakuta business rakati rikaramba saka ini ndi chine chi kure tichangu mavu mirana kuti ndo zwa uru kuda here uru da kumira uti muna wata nga pedza skure tichwa kire muru kuwira na here you can get married shiripo chi kure tichocho Dine mosu ya ndaka para, ndaka mpeta zuma drugs, ndaka ura ya munu, kana ndaka tika munu, kana kuti ndaka, what if, please governor, this director of chokwadi. Apana chini chino ruwadza, ase kuti maroran, wazo find out, paku ya mpurisa kuti munu, ane nyaya ya kaka tika munu. It might not even be your fault, but the fact, time ya ntuno zeta find out, ika, ya nyaya itori serious, ndaka kumzwa kufa kune wa mwe kana watu raku vane kukoti ka azichana kiza manji and it's too late for me to try and do something about it vedo ya vanu ngati zizi kutawara na chokwadi wadha ndimi wakazi kana watichi no one is perfect maybe waka ponda ponda girlfriend ya murumu wako ika kuwara kana watika faa or whatever and you moved on taura chokwadi munu nga make a decision ya kuro rana newe achizi wa the type of person you are maybe it was not even your fault the situation made you to do what you did ndakambo varu wa mjeri ini ndi nenya ya zangu ziri kujeri zari za pera taura chokwadi ndakambo sungwa wa ndaba kwa ndai shanda taura chokwadi o tunyanya ya tuwa kutuwa uru kutawara ya papo tuno zupesira tuwa kunzikwa munu ota nga ita gut feeling kana wa mvunzi wataura chokwadi. Andidi. So that helps us a lot. Kutra wati mangwana. Tisa zo chema chema. And like I said. If you are healed from your previous relationship. Your spirit is quieter. Your gut feeling is quieter. Your mind is quieter. Therefore you are focused. Without interrogation. Without insecurities. Without. Without paranoia, without suspicion, you are actually settled in your spirit. You are healed from your previous hurts. Kuna wanu waru kufamba wane maronda sata apora. Waru to bleed right now. Wopinda mune ingwe relationship kuna lurura ro para waru vana waru kune another relationship. Do you think that's gonna work? Your spirit is not quieter. Your gut feeling is very much angry and you hype. Unozo kwa nisa sayi kuti uziwe, neku nzwa, neku wa stiu, neku zia pa unufano wange uchitere la gut feeling yako or where you are dismissing it. You cannot always depend on people on the situation you are going through because sometimes we uta ora munu akateta go through a worse abuse than you are going through. Yato ni ni munu waru uta ora nae, ano kuza wati shamari, don't worry, so waru uta go through is nothing. It's nothing according to here, not according to you. Iwa hotel raunza, ah, ah, don't worry, ini ni yangu relationship yanga ito riwe siju, atu nanga na basa. Atu na basa kwa hari, because ya nini, but u nini azi roti zinu zwa gana. Ini nini nye enamu, given a choice, given an opportunity, that person would have not gone into that relationship. When you are not still in your inner man, when you are not quieter in your gut, the feeling will never come up. You will never be able to observe without being, you know, judgmental. Kutunya so nzisa wati zizi rubitika. Yo gut feeling will never be. Remember ndakuza yoti. Some of the cells are in gut. Aka fana nane are in brain. I see if you are not healed. If you are not aligned properly. Then your gut feeling will never connect to your brain. Your gut feeling will never connect to your mind. It becomes a challenge for you to know now. Is this a gut feeling? Is this me being paranoid? Is this me being suspicious? Auzo zi manje pane gut feeling. Ne pane suspicion. And fact ya kuti urukuti at least I'm in a relationship. At least you don't have a boyfriend. At least this. You have already dwindled and killed your self-esteem to zero. From 100 to zero. Saka wakum kwa zutora wakum kwa second in anything. I wish I see value on yourself. I always teach people kuti you come first. In anything you come first. Tell yourself I come first. And therefore I cannot tolerate any form of abuse. I value my body. I value everything that I do. My mental status. My psychological status. Because... If you get abused like that, then it means you can't function properly, you can't think straight. A lot of things are jeopardized like that. So I am here to just say to you, don't be told by someone who dance you are overreacting. Understand that your gut feeling is communicating something to, to you. It's up to you to do that ignore it or you do that we or you do that say the way your boyfriend or your husband or your wife communicates with you, it starts when you are boyfriend and girlfriend. Ano nyanyo refer maningi here, uti chese chango itika anda kuisa umwa anu majiri. Akwa siku meka an independent. That is a red, like a, a red, um, what do you call them? A red flag to tell you to, Munu ya asata machua ushu. 
actually would depend on other people cannot make decisions wazo shamsi kama marriage ma kuda kumeka zvinhu ma decisions zvakuita kuti sekuti mukadzi ndiye atokutonga murume o mukadzi ndiye hapa musoro pemurume asi uchinyatsoona kuti from the beginning baba havana direction avataori kana nyaya chayo inosekesaka avataori zviri straight <laughs> job chairo chairo ari kwari sikutombotorwa zviri straight forward what about a vision ndiye munhu auri kutarisira kuti anonzi baba pamba penyu mangwana iyeyo asinga kwanisi kana kutaura joke chairo joke rokuti toti museke asinga kwanisi kutaura onyedze kuti museke asinga kwanisi kutaura zvinhu zvekuti unoti ya kana baba vakutaura shuva vanhu vese vanonyarara hakana boyfriend yangu yakupa ma ideas vanhu vanonyarara munongo zvikanda so amana mundi rwadza mimi vanhu mimi you just throw yourself into the dungeon like that just because urukuti and asaririra vana ningi vane vakoma na vana ningi they have made it in life how do you know guys let me tell you this i always tell my clients this i'm sick and tired of fake happiness that i see on social media this is the same reason why you are finding people killing each other killing themselves after va post something you will find the next thing munarumwa poison ari pa live streaming and yet the previous day it was all photos and photo shoots and all these things eh chihelele eh mofela eh shumbares eh this this and yet kuma shuroko manje nje nje bla 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 mchiseka ma behind closed doors it's hell on earth all hell breaks loose muruma wacho hadzureki hatombo kwanisi kana kuti unomupa idea yako hauna kana chaona kwanisa kuti munotaura muchiseka even bedroom acho unenge uchingobvunzwa wakazinzwa kupisa zvese zvorikuita wakazona kupisa zvorikuita why are you doing this why are you zvakatanga rin izvo sezvo ndiri ninge rainin akomana munotongesana kubva kunze kusvika mu hall of holies imba hombe yekuti munofana honge muchifara i'm not going to communication chero kada kuti mutaura you don't even muna hadu kana kutaura nezve intimacy guys ndiri kudzoka pana hapa ndakamboya ne topic iyo yoyo ndiri kudzoka foot pana hapa nenya ye intimacy because vamwonyi muri vanyo vanhu pana ndiri kudzoka nayo nya ye intimacy iyoyo you can't even communicate to your to your boyfriend kutaura muda unye pakuzita masenzi vamwe wenyu you are even coming from previous marriages and you can't sit down with your partner who is coming from another marriage or who has been in, intimate with someone else if you have been intimate with someone Taura chokwadi taura na chokwadi kuti nini i have been intimate before and ndinoziva mama mama g sports angu ma points angu anonti tira bond ndinoziva but ukaona munhu asingadi kutaura nezvazvo hadi kana communication nezvazvo nothing kungoda kuita chibububu mumba macho mukati mupinde bedroom musati matombodi ma lights ato dzimwa ma kutoka kati dzana ma kudai so taurirana ipo papo ndo time yekutaurirana ino iyi kuti kuti mangwana usazoti nini ndinoda light iri on iya chindoda light rakadzimwa makadi utaura nezvazvo mutaura sha if you can't compromise on that one hai nini it's a no and ndi zvekukiswa nezuri rimi rakarembera panze kudai handi zvifariri izvo zvezvo i've been in a relationship before zvinondi semesa handi zvide taura chokwani because ziri rimi roro richazobudiswa maku norora na ikokoko hauchazito weta sei ra kutozobudiswa rese ne epiglotis chaiyo pfa mukana mako imomo ndo zvaunoda here is that what you want and if ari muno anopinza ziri rimi mumhino munze wemangu umu mazimate yako munze woma ndi zvide taura chokwadi kana zviri zvo zvaunoda taura chokwadi ndoda zvekusvipirwa matemudzi But if you are finding kuti uri kudara nemunhu and you can't even talk freely about these things why are you muri kuti ndakudza kuti you are not getting married to each other so that you can profit and profitess that's not the point bishop and bishop dress or whatever bishop dress whatever pastor and pastor that's not the point you are getting married muri kurorana because there are physical demands that needs to be fulfilled there is inner peace and joy that needs to be enhanced through marriage marriage is a commitment marriage is an institution it is actually uh, something that you have to sacrifice and work on until it becomes what you want the honeymoon phase of a marriage inongoshika if you are like two years from there makuto fighter for your marriage you are fighting together ini to guarantee chipo an example kuti be like a caesar mukona chigero ichi chigero ichi caesar ichi when you are married manya sokubva kwa muri kubva mese muchisvika kwa muri kuenda you need to behave and act and work on your relationship like a pair of scissors work together cutting along every obstacle 
Senge macheke randu udawita pepa ili. Let me just show you. Let me show you. Kozo wangu wana wana tuda demonstration jeje. <laughs> Mwuru wana. Every obstacle. A scissors cannot cut. Antijika. Uchisha antisaru wako wani kudai. Saka mu marriage. Ka, marriage cannot work if the other person. Zuno tangira. That is not tangira ku dating. Moti courtship. Mozo pinda marriage. Even relationship yacho yo. Kana uri we unongwe isa effort. Wada kufona yu effort. Wana ka. I can't cut it like this. Ndino cheka say ineru wako wani. How? How? I mean, ndaka bata nechiguno wani, ndino cheka seiko, I cannot. Pese pese ndiwa nungu tanga munu, eh, hey, maskora seiko, shewe, maskora sei ya niwe ya meno, whatever you call your boyfriend or partner or fiance. Ndiwa uno tanga every time, iya wazo responda. Ausko na ere, uti papa hapu, pano torine red flag, papu hapu. Gut feeling yako yaka fire, iwo. Ausko na tizuna, zina mira mwishe, iwo. And you are continuing like that. Ukada kuti uti ma jokes you get dismissed. Ukada kuti uta uro zinu 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 fads or zinu sekes you get dismissed. Ukada kuti useko one wangwe pane wanu you get humiliated. Pese pakaita obstacle ndi wano blema. Right. Ndati be like a pair of scissors. Uyo ari ukumurume mukazi ari uko. Any obstacle ino ya mmeri mmeji menyumu after two years ga. You need to cut it along together like this. It takes a pay. Could I so? Obstacle, ya enda iyo. Next one. Ya enda iyo. Mchu fighter. Ya enda iyo. Be a man enough to protect your wife from your relatives. Be a man enough to fight for your wife. Kubaku sayi dire hama zako. Awiti mkazi. Anungo tukwa ni wanu. Pese pese. Iwa u mkazi. Uchi onoti. Right now paka itika chinu. Unongo blengwa. Paka itika chinu. Unongo tukwa. Mchiru mkoma ni mskana. Kusaidi kwa ke wukangu itika chinu. Ia nenga riko koko. Yono sara wega. Where do you think you're going in that relationship? Where do you think you're going? Where is your gut feeling? Are you telling me that your gut feeling is dead? You can't see the red, the red flag. And then mozorora na wangu nongo wa iti. Kumbako wa mazangu wa kutompo iti. Eee, hey, tinobik swa doro. Muru mkoma na msika nasi wa inzwa. Muru mwako mkoma na wako ya shukuza wa iti. Trufa na wano bika doro. Uopere keza. Uruguwe ndaya koko uchu na wana kuine chiva. Nuche kuti unono uopere kesi kwa wanatu. Ameno, whatever. Beshulu de koko. Uno yenda uopere kesi kwa. Uchifungu wa tini ndia hainina me prayer warrior. I'll pray. This family is going to be transformed. Ko ikasawa transformed jeta se. Ikaseta transformed jeta se. You got to be serious with your life, guys. You got to start now to know what you want and communicate effectively. Don't dismiss your gut feeling. Don't dismiss what you are feeling right now. It is your gut feeling trying to protect you, to try to preserve you from pain. Aodukura mbao shungori munu wa urwa ziswa every time. Anyway, I'm not going to stay for too long. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put my number there. Just in case someone has a question, I told you I have my uh, relationship coaching business and I work with people who are struggling to make their relationship work. I work with people who are struggling and they're trying to settle premarital coaching, counseling. Those whose marriages are on the rocks, those who have told themselves, no, 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 we want to amicably go our separate ways. Our differences are, are, are irreconcilable. It is possible you can actually get to that point. Boys, what I know, I'm a red flags now. Zashika papo, you dismissed your gut feeling, and now it's becoming dangerous. I would use Zashika papa. Tell me, you go to work to Zora, you want to Zinu kana zara mbaka kato ya pointi ya kuti it's now costing your mental health, it's costing your physical body, it's costing your psychological status. Well, you know. Apana zakuza kutu unengo uchata nezo. But amudu futu kusiana and the, the, the breakup is so nasty. I'm there. Don't go through it yourself. And sometimes you come to me and you think, ah, no, I've reached my wit ends. And I can tell you that there's hope for you. And I can help you. We can work together. Sometimes people tell me, ah, my husband will never agree to this. Never. I will tell you what, I've surprised a lot of married people when their husband actually says, I don't know what is it about you, but ndango fill out your sins. Even though ndakambo try several times, ndango fill out, let me try again. And you'll be shocked. The husband now is actually saying, "Inini and chat to do miranga to cast kirek sova issue. Ndau da kuzogera ku marriage yangu. I have worked with people who are now living in different places, and they'll tell you, you know what? Ndau da kuzogera ku mbai ni ya 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 ya. I messed up. So you know, sometimes it's because I una muno chemera, and sometimes you need a professional that you might never even see in your entire life. That you might even never come." Across in your entire life, it's possible these things. Ga, you know, go ahead. 
No, 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 no. I can help you. But kana watu ngoyo shita ndi sutombo daru basiro wachiwa. I'm not there to impose anything on you. If you come and say, ndi ngoyo daru basiro, uti ndi wani ma strategies, uti ndi siyane nazo, mune shaka naka, I will help you too. So you choose what you want. You come here and that I will help you for free. If it's something that's general, I'm not going to go specific because this is a public platform. But kana wawo ya kukamba ni kwangu, then it's business and it and those dumu zonye poti eh akauya pana apa kati anobasira mahara now she's charging and inga dikuya uzunye pe eka pana e business rangu pano ndino ya kuzobasira in general muna sina oka na chinu kuti anongotoda kunzwao zve mahara izvo zvizvi but kana zva zviri specific you pay for it www.anotherchancelife.com so that's my website there let me just pin this let me pin it. My phone number is there. That's my phone number for when I'm doing my live streaming. So you can WhatsApp call me. But when I when you come to my business, obviously there is a different number to it. Let me just see while I'm waiting for people to call in. I'll just check to see along the way because when I'm doing this, obviously I don't read my, my comments because that would distract me. But uh, let me see if there's anyone who wants to call WhatsApp call on that number. Feel free to do that. WhatsApp call. Feel free to call my number. If you want to call, no more call. It's up to you. Whatever you want. If you don't want to say your name or whatever, I'm not going to ask you. Up to you. Let's see. Okay. Okay. No mahlengiwe bebe says I wish I had people like you around me before I got married. Hey my sister, even now I'm around. <laughs> if you are serious that you want your marriage to turn around, visit my website. I said you pay for my services, but I can promise you I have an integrity to protect. I have a brand to protect. I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this since 2000 and Nine. I know myself very well. Go to my website and see some of the testimonials. Follow some of the posts that I put and see my testimonials. I know yeah. I can tell you that I know and I'm confident of who I am. And I am not someone anongo ita sukuvere nga sinu pa ma book. Ah ah. And and this mina anongo da zwe mari. No no no. Ndi noto nyan so ku respect a marriage. When I tell you I wrote this book another chance iri. Book randaka nyore. This is deep from my heart iri. Let me just read what it says here. The summary of it. For you to have an idea. Let me read the summary. About the author and the book, the hurts, the pain and disappointments in life can cripple us from fulfilling our God-ordained destinies. Learning to forgive and let go of bitterness so you can have what God has for you can be really tough. Trusting God through the process would require exceptional faith and trust in God. summary in this book, the author shares her very deep and intimate stories, experiences and challenges, and shows by example how God's grace keeps us and helps us recover and become all he's ordained us to be. You will discover in these pages that God is not only a God of second chances, but of many, many chances. His mercies are beyond understanding. If you are going through any storm in your life or anyone going through a rough season, this is the book for you. I've just summarized it. I've just summarized it. So, my sister, let me tell you this. You have listened to the right live streaming right now. Let me continue reading what she was saying here. My gut feeling was telling me otherwise, while the leaders of the church were telling me it is evil spirit that do not want me to get married. A few months down the line in marriage, my gut feeling was right. I regret big time. I wish I could turn back the time. I am so unhappy. Okay, so someone is calling. Let me just help this person. I'm not sure what was, what's happening with my volume here. Hello? Hello, Magadi. You are a good person. You are a good person. You are Why my sister? Yes, Bulipa Live. Passy Simelis Diaries. All right. Eh, as I 
Ah, so I got my sister. You are welcome. my sister right eh. right um and you know to it a deep deep because this is actually now going private <laughs> all right <laughs> now i want you to, like i said i want you to understand this i can't address private matters okay there is no okay. way I can begin to add. This is, as you can see, I see issue right now. I can address Zrubitika right now because there are deeper things. Kune midzi. Kune midzi. orange. Let me just reduce your volume. Pane wanaruku skrima. Chitere razo andu kukudza. Saka. As you took it to address as soon as we take it like just now, like that, because Zutora Zauti one, Zid deep, and this Panapa Kukonde Maga, 
But in any Nikata Kuvunza Pana Pakuti, what did you learn from Zonan Chitaurus? Or what are you learning from a situation? Remember, Kuti Wangao Chito Ona, Veduaka, Mkazu is what I guess. It's deep and it's not just hey, Wanga to Kupusa cannot chi. Unoka Sanga Utorne in Engo Yauru Tambura Nayo right now. It's now Fanana near Mama Fona. Ah, let me tell you this. But Wanga Chis Vig, you know. Our mama wa ishi wa wakaita ndi kuti. Gut feeling yanga ito ripo. Ma red flags anga aripo. She ignored. Aka enda aga nooza mai guru wake. Ndiku nko tsana ngura kuna wano kwa sango wangwa sunya sozo zinzwa. Mai guru wake aga tsana ngura waka muza point blank. Kuti aa ah, type ya munu uyu kwa wika asku zo kuchengeti. Aka kuta warafutu kutipu chechi. Aka, aka, aka puwa wani kuti munu ya asimu noraitu. Remember na boku za wati. Someone can actually have a gut feeling on your behalf. Because it's God speaking. God can speak through you. He can speak through my signs. I not He can speak to you in your dreams. He can speak through someone. But what she decided to do is to brush off her gut feeling. Is to tell herself, no, it's non-existent. Do you know what could have been happening? My sister, now this is general, okay? This is not specifically to you. I have seen a lot of people who go into abusive relationships, who go into relationships that are my red flags, but I need to get married, I need to settle, and they are settling with the wrong person. Oh, ndiri nerera, ndiri kuchenge tuwa na budina mai guru, kana ndiri kuchenge tuwa ne umo munu, andina umo munu, anu kwa sawa ndi chenge tu. So, because you are doing that, instead of waru kuchenge tuwa kutuwa kubatsire uwane something to do in life, so you are independent, iwa wangu funga watu, kuorwa, it's an achievement that is going to solve your problems. You are forgetting that you are marriage is supposed to be a permanent thing. Are you going to be able to stay to, to live with that person? Wakuti, akawana muna kafeka mafekero mangwe, akutaris, akawana muna kadai so aku jamba jamba. Aku ita zume zunuzo, kuti unotu nyato nauti ajuna future, but you are sticking with that person. What what ora wa no sevaru kuitra jeras? Instead, you go ora advice. What observe very closely. Did you hear what she said? It starts a psychological abuse, joined up a mental abuse, probably sexual. You can't tell me we are living with that person and you are still enjoying having sexual intercourse with him. You will be having sexual abuse there. As Nabasa to Waro, I'm going to say, Mangwana, I'm going to say, 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 I will tell you as it is. Uruku chema, unembo nche kumeso, kana tu Waro, wamukati mehembe, msinga wane kune wano, uruku nzivura makumu. Uruku gara ipapapu. The end result, ucharo wapasipo, ukazo fenda kana kufa. Ini anji ni karenji wanu kurambana. But where there is abuse, we need to hold the abuser accountable to his action. We need to hold the perpetrator accountable to his action. Atis kuzo glorify abuse panu, no matter what kind of abuse. Abuse is abuse. Whether it's financial abuse, psychological, physical, mental, intellectual. Kuna wana nungu kutuka zukuti unoto sara wadzikira mumu ya wako. Muna nufa nunga chuku inkareja. Murumo kano kuzwa zidofo, zibenzire munu, chupetie munu. Every day. Una uzwa zidofo. Muna nunga rachiko kuzwa zidofo, zibenzi zimbukare munu. You are useless, you good for nothing. Asindia murumo kano nufa nunga chuku inkareja. Atina kufanana, atina ku... We have different abilities, capabilities. And if I don't want to, I did as it does. And this is the other says in Bukare Munuragada is so. Hiya, Zure. And Munuas are with a yoga. I will go abuse intellectually and psychologically and mentally. Ukaramba choose wise was every day. Which happens the Sarah out of Believer to Riz Benz, Rizimbra. You are an idiot. Muruma happens out of idiot. I know I have to go to Vramakum. Two abuses, one on the same day, three kinds of abuse, psychological abuse, intellectual abuse, sexual abuse, physical abuse, in one day. Come on. But the reason why I'm saying this, gut feeling, this is not right. And you decided to suppress it. You decided to ignore it. You decided to, anyway, and to change it. And to change it. Awusi mwari, mazunzwa. Awusi kwenda meri ya jima mabuwaza, ame prea komanda. You can bind and break and add sulfuric acid to the Holy Spirit and it will not hold much water. You can declare and decree until you are blue in the face. Let me tell you this, it might not work. 
what works is for you not to ignore that gut feeling because it's God talking to you. Don't ignore the instinct. Oh. It is the Holy Spirit talking to you. So my sister, I hope, <laughs> I don't know. I just pray because, I mean, seriously, I just pray that you find a strategic way of getting things into perspective. I feel sorry for you. I hope you find a way to get things into perspective because uh, things things are not very good. And uh, any kind of abuse should not be tolerated. That's all I can tell you. Any kind of abuse, hold the perpetrator accountable. Itaguti munarikuwa abuser wacho. Don't be blamed. Buti wakanga waite. Chicha wakanga 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 No one has the right to abuse anyone under any circumstance. So, ngatire ge kujairira ku abuse wa. And at the same time, let's not, ngatire ge kuita wa trigger each other. Because if you trigger other people, which is what you learned this weakness, then it might not end well. So, at the same time, let's be strategic. Let's use wisdom. Let's listen to the Holy Spirit. Let's use the spirit of discernment. Put together, let's be people who are morally right with correct motives in any relationship that you are in make sure your motives are right your self-esteem is settled you listen to your gut feeling i think that's what i can say to you right now my sister even before you get beaten panotori a gut feeling you know that ameno if you listen to your gut feeling, it will help you to avoid the direct confrontation and it can save you from the beating but if it happens that you continuously get beaten and this this please that is abuse i'm not gonna tell you to uh, just suck it up that needs to be reported because that's abuse but a lot of people are being abused because i don't think and happy to go and this was shanda saka nika nika report and no so poor marina near end saka would you rather pay rent and die and be one of the camera mumbai momo money good about the rent or over what will feel i mom Choose what is right and what can save you. Mm, yeah. Sorry, Mukacha. It's here, Papa. Tani kanga nisha kuzunza. Zunza yen. Alright. Saka chiru kuti kande she kuti arundi ni sabo. Iko zunda nisha parangi da mte de ku university. Mhm. Asi mo wangu rundo zacha chisi ya ubudo yende. Because just you said you don't know the money you must sorrow. <laughs> okay, my guru manga machine bota or a mukazam command it. Madam Bota or on our renya, or do you have anyone who is close? Well, no one at Dandam Soro, and you continue to live with that person because Uruda Kuku Aish Uruda Maria went up in Vest, grow on at Dandam Soro. Can I tell you something, my sister? My, my sister, I'll, I'll be very honest with you. And this is a degree that I work with my sister, but I, I don't want to be so blunt. Let me use wisdom. I know you have an achievement and an accomplishment, but I can tell you what it is. Like when? Ah, hello? Next year, when? Right. What? What? We don't get a degree, right? Wait, wait. Education. Okay. In Maria, she has a lot of bad. Ah, happen in Maria. Go on. So that's it. Is it? Last year, pan for each credit year, eighteen thousand rand. Still, then for register for this year, it is actually ten thousand. 
So, ukanaka are right now. Are you telling me that you can't find? Unewa na anditi. Unewa na anditi. Right. So, unanti tawo rati waku family kwenye akuna munu. Anu kwa nisaku kubasira. Like, I don't know how things, because in Turku Australia, ndaka mwakumusha kudara. Right? Eh, akuna oh. munu, anu kwa nisaku kubasira kana kuti aku kwerete so mari or something else ya kutu peze chikoro o akuna ereko kutu nukwa sa kushanda woka na weather mabasa ya mawoko o whatever woseva mari yako ava vumi ereko kutu ukasa peze sa semester ya sara right now and then you can actually finish off wambo seva a little bit of money as you, as you vumi zwe ereko investi kwa uri Fai, do your own research, you understand? Ita research ya kwe baba. Uh. Yeko na watu kuchikoro kwa kwa vano vuma yere kutu unokuwa nsa kutangira po waka sira. Ok? Eh. Ocha aga, pana ungo muna suggest, pana pa kuti search nyaye ma scholarships. And it? Uh. Wa, waona kuti uchashwika kupine nyaye ma scholarships, kana pane remainder anuda kubadar, wa, waona kuti apana we, re muna nukuwa nsa kubadzira kuti Usike pa point ye kuti uno uno ita sasa sasa utaraza kuhu wada hizo sasa tenge sa wewe zera kamari kako pa wuri apoka apoka I will not lie to you ipa pa apoka ucha fira apo and I don't think this is news udamu na nuko uza chete senga zandu kutesh a this is news zandu kutesh how many people do you know kuti vaka zoro wa bati abuse a story na inchange ni kuti ufe ba ah but waka roo, waka natu waka roo, wa tinga ino supply ya blood, kumsoro, kano taka doko nyo wazisori, kano ita something, uka ita infection. Hapa uru nita watu waka pondu, waneda nda msoro. How do you know kutu mba musu cha pondu, waka tofachi ya kucha kwa? Waka garae pa papo, because uru kumira wada upe za degree. Eighteen thousand runs, right? Mm. Okay. 
I think in that hour also and Rukufunga, I don't think it's safe for you to stay there. Tino so the Gapana Papa Simeli teaches what Muscano, ya, a camp of four now, ya, we are store and yagro, and Edanda, and Nukuposa Banga, Ungada Kukupos, Kukubayane Banga, or whatever the case. Warambo Shigarani Munagada, or end up Mapurisa Quacho. It's unfortunate, Manguma systems are in Africa, they are just so detrimental. Ono mba darazo, anita wa whatever he did, obuda, oya o gara, you are staying there with a medara, iwe. That is a medara. Oh. And the next thing, uh, we won't be hearing very good news. I'm, I'm just have to tell you so blunt like that. And I feel sorry for you, but at the same time, ka, I want you to use wisdom. You coming here, which you kudaika, uh, it means a lot. This is an opportunity, a good it's just a warning from God, Butika. This situation is not good. And if you do not act on it, it's not going to end well. Think about yourself. You come first. And then think about those kids that you have. Kuti nasu no kanza usharipo, God forbid. But kanza usharipo, do you think Kuti Munari responsible like that will be able to look after your two kids? No way. Saka, to me, I think that's my advice for you. Find out in your scholarship. Find out kutu kune muna nukwasa kubatira ito zongo wa chawara maybe hama nisha mwari. Vanukwasa kubatira so that you can be able to wana marie kuhode ya wongo wa chawara iyo yo. And find out from kuchikoro kwa kuti is it possible for you kuti umbo chwa gamari. Explain your situation. Umbo chwa gamari. And then uh, and na niko are the payment plans offered kuyu ni kwa kwa. Ata ora uti she, she hasn't looked into it seriously but I think she can find out that's another thing nicole thank you so much find out could you payment plan here which work and it then one uh, they can work out something why could you pay that what does you have my which coro but i will not feel it because of that because yeah i don't know 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 I <laughs> 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 I was I don't even know. Anyway, I'll let you go, my sister. Just in case, pano ngomu nanda kufona. I'll let you go. But uh, I think that's my advice for you. So it's a very sad situation that we have here. But <laughs> thank you, my sister. God bless you so much. Okay, my Bye bye. Right. Hey, this is really sad. I'm telling you, this is reality. I told you from the beginning, this is reality. There are so many people who are going through so many challenges because they don't know how to go about it. They don't know how to apply wisdom. They are stuck because they think they are not knowing they are actually destroying their lives. That's not even a marriage. That's not a marriage. I don't know what to call it. Because when God instituted marriage, it was for people to enjoy it. It was for people to com like to complement each other, to fulfill their prophetic destinies together. So when someone gets into a monster, turns into a monster like that, it's no longer a marriage. That person has no feelings. It's abuse after abuse. It's only that it will be a different kind of abuse from the abuse you got yesterday. Those who want to call, the number is there, plus 614-0586-4800. So if you want to call plus six one four zero five eight six four eight zero zero, feel free to call. We won't bother asking your name or anything. It might be a totally different question from what my sister has just presented here, but feel free to call. And if you want to text, feel free to text your question and we'll try and answer your question. We'll try and help each other here. So... If there is no one with a question, then 
we will call it a day but I'll, I'll give it a few more minutes but i just wanted to say guys let's take our lives you know seriously munhu unongorarama ka hwani ukatongofa zvatopera watopa nemwe dimension yekurarama you live only once marriage is not an achievement it's an institution it's a concept saka kugara ipapo uchigara status kuti vanhu vanozoti chii I can't go ndire gandi tongofira hangu ndiri pana apa unofa zve sure you die for sure so decide what you want to do think seriously about zvauri kuita go through especially kana usati warorwa pane ma signs of abuse like that and your gut feeling is telling you run for your life or your gut feeling is telling you ask about this get this clarified this is something fishy why is it you feel knots in your tummy whenever you think about that situation whenever you are with your boyfriend or your fiance your partner something doesn't add up but you continue uchingoita things as if zvinhu zviri right you continue to do business as usual uchinzwa kuti zvinhu zvisi right so we got to be wise like i said remember you should function like a pair of scissors when you are married when you are in a relationship work together and cut along the obstacles that you are coming across the challenges the stumbling blocks you can't do it by yourself you have to work together as a team you need to value yourself you need to put yourself first and know that apana umwe munhu anoku replace you are irreplaceable muna akakwa abuse akakuita zvari kuita either akakuraya kana kuti you get abused to a point where you are now killing yourself you are irreplaceable my brother my sister anoto ku replace no umwe munhu iwo unenge watorowa pasi and if you are a married person then which means izvo zvi unenge wakutozi kuti vana vako vakusara kuchengetwa no umwe munhu anga chimbotadza kuchengeta iwewe then how are you going to be able to help yourself pane munhu aisa let me see someone is sent in a question Okay, I don't know whether this person wants me to say their name. Uh, maybe I won't say it. Okay, yeah, she actually said it. Paberibayo. Um Satora Starango. I need to arrange with her how I can help. I'm heartbroken. Thanks, you see. Okay. So my sister, the one I, I hope you are in the comment section, the one who is just talked about uh, the, the abuse that she's going through. Nambaya washandi saia. I want you to send me a message can end up the live streaming in weeka i'm going to call you i'm going to call you can end up the live streaming in we and it my friend eh wafona apa wafona i'm going to call you let me see kuti number dzako dza api here let me see obviously they did let me check yeah Okay, my sister, the one who called earlier on. Pane muna aruda kubasira, my sister who has said this. Aruda kubasira, aruku UK. Maringa wa kuitire swa kanaka. May God expand the sphere of your influence. May God do that which no man can do for you. This is God who has touched your heart to help this dear sister. And we will find how big or small she wants to help. Any help is acceptable and is very valuable. So, Rubatro Ruru Vaguna Sisi Awat no Rukoshesa. And we are going to make sure we take the right steps. We do the right things. Kuti muska nao yu abatsirwe. Mari cha badarwa i aisku zo badarwa kumawoko e muska na uyu. Because we do not want kuti muna ruku batsira uyu a abuse. People call here. I'm not saying I don't trust my sister, no problem. But people call with all sorts of issues. We need to make sure to help you do what you are in the right direction. Saka, I will communicate with the three of you. We will make sure to fees the actual badarwa. Or if Pangwada Kupamari is starting, you will take something and send out to you. But we are going to be in touch. We will communicate in the live streaming, you know. Can I pay no one? Feel free to do that. We will make sure to my work out. Vabatsirwa and kana vapedza chikoro ichocho we want ma receipts essay for accountability from the uni arguenda we will pay mari directly ku uni ikokoko and she will come back here ne degree rake iroreiro achiti rati za kuti apedza chikoro and itika atisuzo pamunu maruma woko ake she will go there ku chikoro 
tono badaramari i know how we can do this because in ini open up dine nerera 31 i'm a philanthropist i mean philanthropist as well saka andi simuno wangu tanza andi zvuti zvinofamba se ndino chengeta nerera 31 ndino toriyo nemwana wandi kubadara fees ma laptop ma phone zviyi zveku university of zimbabwe nerera yandiri kutobatsira izvo zvekuti ipedze uni never na wandi kubatsira 30 saka ndino ziva kuti zvinofamba sei andi sudzongo alawa kuti siso ku uk ivabatsira ava va abuse financially or what so siso andi fonera ava that ndi batei so that we can see how we can go about your situation How do you deal with a husband? Ndi no ma uishu. No ma sengi we bebe arguti. How do you deal with a husband with an unteachable spirit who doesn't want to go for counseling or to invest any sort of work into our marriage? We live like housemates. Ingo anu watota oro wanu kuti you live. Watota oro wati you live like housemates, which means that's not a marriage. Right. Muna asina teachable spirit hapana zvaunu kwanza kumita. Ini nandi mbo kunyeperi. Muna asina teachable spirit hapana zvaunu kwanza kumita. It's unfortunate kuti that man ana kutanga kuratidza kuti as teachable now. This is something cha unotoona muchiri kuti go through a courtship or dating. Kuti muna ana teachable spirit and you decide to go ahead and get married to that person. Now Anything that you are seeing right now in your relationship with your boyfriend, I want you to know it will get amplified when you get married. It will get bigger. If it is joy that your man is showing you right now, that joy is going to get bigger and better when you get married. Anything chauri kuona zvo zvichaita bigger. Kana marora na mufaro kana kusuwa. Ndozva zviri. That's reality. Marriage inoshandika nayo. I always tell people know the difference of being patient with someone and kuwa patient nemunhu nekuwa nekupedzerwa nguwa ziva musiano wekuwa nemunhu haunofana kuita patient naye nemunhu ari kukupedzera nguwa zvakatosiyana a time waster hapana zvaunoka kusaita naye munhu anobatsika munhu ane teachable spirit but struggling anopuwa ma strategies ano chastise ano correctwa ano batsirika munhu iye because ari kutoda marriage yacho kuti ishande zvino uyu asina teachable spirit uko hatori na does matter na zono meta kuti maenda ku counseling kwacho kuti andi wataura rota ana teachable spirit saka cha unongoda kuno badara mari mo gara imomo iyo chito zvaya kuti ana teachable spirit mopedza futi mari madza imomo ngoma ndiyo ndiyo wato iwo kana wato marriage yacho she's me akadaro iyo wato zvaya kuti your choice my sister Either we shall decide to go and I and you singa peru chitongo zvaya kuti you are going to live like housemates like you said. Or if you think kuti you are being your time is being wasted, hadi kutochinja kwacho. Hapadi patience because patience is not wrong nanoda kuchinja. Anda kuti a work on their marriage. Asinga hadi hadi asi mwana mudiko. Saoda umbata pahurere kuti abvume azvisiri zvoka azvisiri zvo. Rudo harumanikidzwa munhu. Rudo kudanana munofana kunge muchitowirirana mukusa wa perfect kwenyi koko muri kuti munofana kunge muchiwirirana kuti muite zvinhu zvenyu zvifambe nemazvo but when it comes to a situation where another person ndambo kutaura kuti ga marriage is like a pair of scissors ndakutaura kudara kuti mucheke munofana kunge muchidai muri two going forward checking 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 cheka 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 <laughs> muchita cutting cutting stuff getting along muchicheka cheka cheka zvima obstacles zvima stumbling blocks zvima challenges zviri kuya munuchicheka kudaiso but yako iwewe wakabata wega kudaiso saka how are you going to cut through chero mukaenda kucancelling kwacho hana teachable spirit not interested how are you going to cut through the challenges it does not work this is marriage for you it's very simple illustration this is marriage for you okay right i think for today i will call it Yeah, we will call it a day because I don't think kune vachiri kuda kubvunza mibvunzo. Tinenge ta right. So we will call it a day, but my sister we ku UK na sisi wangu awa we ku South Africa awa. Mwari wa kuwanira nyasha. Thank God for this program because nas eh mwari wa vura masuwe denga. The heavens have opened upon you. Uh, let's find out kuti sisi wangu UK awa varikuwa South Basirane. Eh saka wehama Mwarwa kuti renyasha 
Don't suppress your gut feeling. It's God speaking. Don't just brush it off. It is God speaking to you. Listen to your gut feeling. Watch out on the red flags. Use the spirit of discernment. Use wisdom. Unotera one zone go choose one on one. Usangueta wundini wega wega witi mangwana wangu chema wana no shia witi never do it. Asta kambu muza one. Let it not get to that point. God bless you. I love you so much. And until we see each other again, those who want to follow me um, on uh, Facebook, let me put my page here again and I will pin it. Uh, my page on Facebook is Dating and Marriage Tips Coach Gladys. Dating and Marriage Tips Coach Gladys. That is my group, okay? It's a Facebook group, right? So if you want to follow my day-to-day -day postings, my uh, inspirational postage Facebook group, what am I writing here? And then my live streaming, because I don't come to Sisimeli's diaries all the time. And when I'm given an opportunity here, I always come back here and share uh, a few things with you guys. Uh, invite others to, you know, to join our group, Dating and Married Tips, Coach Gladys, uh, DMT. Come and join us and let's build each other. Let's have fun together. Uh, let's grow together. And occasionally I will see you here. May God bless you. I love you more and more and more. <laughs> Bye.